Hello, my name is Jennifer, and welcome to part 53 of my Regs to Riches Discovery University edition. And if you are returning, welcome back. And some time has passed since we last were with this family. So they have more money because I've been selling their garden, and they've been getting royalties and whatnot. And obviously, Dora also did some work. Uh... Noah is off there to his class. Hopefully he doesn't take too long going up and down like he's doing. Uh, there he is. He, he did get the notification that he was going an hour earlier. Everybody's in their winter clothes because it's cold. And my sims tend to wear their winter clothes in the house. Even the uh, roommates and stuff are wearing winter clothes. I can just tell. <laughs> they're not like really full on winter. But they're all things that are in the winter category. So... Lola has been doing her classes. She has, she's got her term papers completed. And so she has an exam in her, uh, this violin class, which she won't have until Monday because that is her last day of classes. And I'm really curious how that's going to affect this on probation. She is now a spellcaster because I realized that since I was having her go to the school in the neighborhood she lived in, uh, that she would be late constantly for classes. And since she was already on probation, I did not think that was a good thing. Now, Dora, of course, only works three days a week. <laughs> so she doesn't work today. And she has actually been promoted. She's now Chief of Justin Justice plus three. So she's doing very well. And this is going to be uh, her last day of this class, which is also going to be the last day of this degree. Now... She could sign up for another degree, of course, and only have eight classes to do. And if I did that, I might have her go into one of the degrees that will help with eco lifestyle. And it would be fun to do that. But she's not going to get through it in time to do anything with it because this Let's Play is almost over. But what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to sort of put it on hold until the pack comes out. So we can maybe see the effect of Eco Lifestyle in their neighborhood in university. So there'll be a little bit of a delay and then after it comes out and a little bit of time plus just to make sure it's not going to cause any issues with the uh, save. I will um, be back with them for a couple of more parts and we can at least perhaps see the crafting and more to the point just see the impact of the bills and whatnot but I will continue to play a little bit off camera so hopefully Lola will no longer be on probation by the time we come back. So I uh, since this is Dora's last day of her classes and her exams I am just gonna and she doesn't go till way later in the day Lola are you going off to your exams looks like you are you're doing well and you're actually at your class so I should have you take notes um I'm gonna just have them go through their day and be back when we get the results for Dora we haven't got Dora's results for this term but we did get this call hello this is concerning your upcoming case when you're deliberating your ruling if you happen to rule in our favor we're willing to offer you a hefty sum of money so I wasn't sure if the last time we got this if it was because she was working and writing like an opinion but she's not doing anything she's just on her way from home from her exam so I'm thinking just a random thing that comes up and we're once again going to refuse the bribe because I think we have too much to lose we are doing very well and we have a little uh, Nubu here who is crying who will probably age up but we're also going to have a birthday for Eileen because Eileen has actually maxed all of her skills. She's got them all down pat, so she's ready to become a child. So I had Dora make a cake earlier, so she is going to um, have that ready. And it's already got candles added. We could have looked. There might have been cakes in there, but Mommy was going to make little um Eileen an actual cake for her and not use someone else's cake which I usually tend to throw away anyways so we're just kind of waiting for the results and then we will have this uh birthday or maybe we'll just start the birthday now and because of that um Noah actually works today, but I had him take a day off. We're just going to have him burn the track. He had released a track, and I just wanted him to have one ready to go for next time. And so, so we'll just do that. And she got another call. Okay, that's just about us becoming friends with someone. 
So, anyway, so we are going to actually start, and she's tense. There was some roommate drama. I never saw it, but they did, and they were tense from it because I noticed that Noah had the same thing earlier, but maybe it's a new set of roommate drama this time around. I don't know what the drama is. It's not something I'm seeing, but it's happening every now and again, and okay, there's Patchy. Probably should sell things in our garden. We have lots of things ready to evolve, but anyways, we'll do that all later. Right now, we're going to have this party so that we can have a birthday for little Eileen. And speaking of parties, I honestly cannot remember whether we have done this. No, we haven't done a dinner party event. So we're going to have a dinner party event instead of a birthday and have it hopefully set count for this earning a silver. So... Um, that's going to be under social and I'm going to plan it and I will be back. Well, there we go. We, I'm actually going to have Noah make some food because he needs to make one more excellent meal and let us do spaghetti because I don't know. We'll probably have to, I invited a lot of people, so we might need to make a few meals, <laughs> I have to say. And initially when I was looking, I could not find Camden. But when I looked through again, I saw Camden. So Camden is coming. And I hope I invited, I don't know if I noticed Taylor, but she's here anyway. So it's not that big of a deal <laughs> if we didn't invite her. Because uh, now I think about it, I don't think I did. So she needs a little bit of fun. So why don't we come here and do some dancing? And I did invite Ga Adia, but uh, yeah, I mustn't have seen Taylor because she's not a guest. But then again, I missed Camden the first time around and I was trying to remember everybody. I did invite Mauricio because he's a guest. So it wasn't, you're at least here, Taylor. <laughs> it was definitely not intentional. <laughs> no slight was meant by it. So I figured with Noah, he actually, I was, had him doing some cooking for this uh, cooking meals so he may as well get to the next tier and be ready to have this gold count because we have no no toddler so we couldn't bring anybody and why don't you come here and just hug and talk and do some what's thatting over there while we're waiting for everybody and i'm gonna put this book away and we'll probably get the pop-up during this party for Dora and her degree. And I did see Alex, so I invited Alex, of course. It was most more important to invite the people who aren't living here now, as opposed to the ones who, who uh, are still here. So let's come here. I don't know. Let's uh, invite Alex to, to oh, and let's invite Camden. Looks sad. Well, thank for coming. And you look angry, Alex. Why are you so angry? Oh, there we go. She got... A pluses in all of her classes, yay, and she got an A plus for her GPA. And I think, oh yeah, there we go, graduation is tomorrow. So she is all done. <laughs> She's a professional student. She just likes going to school all the time. Uh, I did actually have her look for her scholarships just to refresh my memory as to which ones were suggested. So we're gonna bring this here and call to meal oh we have a baby who is unhappy we're gonna come here and change that dirty diaper and are you even hungry like i know you grab some food but do you really need to eat that food i'm thinking you should probably make some food some more food because there's a lot of people here and we probably need more food than what you made so your gourmet cooking is also very high but we're just gonna make some more like a caesar salad to go with it uh, we'll make a party size of that. Okay, I thought I asked you to change that dirty diaper, Dora. Well, you're dancing, so I had to cancel the dancing. Your fun is not max, but it's better. So we have our gold already. <laughs> Cause all, because they have great reputations. And uh, how have you been, Alex? We've been kind of missing you. Oh, we have an angry... Why are you angry? You're very tired. Oh my goodness. Where are you, sweet pea? You're right there. Maybe mommy should give you a second wind. I did have you have a nap because I was hoping that would help you, but it mm, didn't seem to work very well. So we're going to parenting, give that second wind, and hopefully keep you, tide you over a little bit because we can have you join the part, join our club. And then when we rally the troops, look at that little face. Look at it. <laughs> 
Is that going to get you a little bit out of that red? A little bit. But I think we should uh, age her up pretty quickly. Is she hungry? She's not really that hungry. And actually that did a lot, but I'm sure she'll go down really quickly. We'll just put the food over here and put these in here in the gar. Well, you can only do one at a time of time, of course. Still waiting. Oh, that radio broke. I'll put that in there. Who's got... I know I can repair you it. Oh, she really needs some fun. Oh, look at that. She's studying. Checking for gigs. No, don't do your homework. You can check for the gigs, but because I had her go into the freelance artist career. I can't remember if I did that between parts or if I had her. Oh, look, we don't need to fix that. Thank you, Taylor. Are you dirty or are you just muscular? You're just a very muscular. See, maybe if we would kept Alex longer, she might have uh, got more muscular because they all seem to be using the exercise room downstairs. So let's see one that pays a lot. So the best one is this. So we're a small indie studio that recently went through a crowdfunding platform to launch development of our newest video game. So we're going to do uh, that one, but we'll deal with it later. Uh, for now, we're going to come here and just let you watch. Why don't you watch some news here? And we, why don't you come here and scavenge for parts? And then we're going to grab that cake and age up our little one. And then we're going to age up both of them, actually. Because we're going to have a child. We're going to have a toddler again. Oh, you, you sat right where I was going to be. Oh, we had lots of cakes in here. This is my coconut cake that I made. So there we go. And now that that's... And I invited Gabriella. Well, kind of the whole gang is here. For the most part. I could think of. There's a lot of people. So now we're going to come here and we are going to help blow out Candle's little Eileen. And then we get to see what she looks like as a child. And we'll also, like I said, age up Colin. And we get to see, well, whose hair. If he got, he's a red hat or uh, got the black hair of his daddy and sister. I got to get set up. Got to get a picture. <laughs> My favorite. She's not really set up yet for this picture. And I see I have a picture, a painting on the wall that I really need to... Oh, and she's angry again. <laughs> Don't get my way. Oh, oh, that looked like that worked right the first go. So, you're angry, sweet pea. Well, we'll have you try and join our club. And there, we'll have to fix up a bedroom for you in the basement. But you're going to have a bedroom. So, there we go. So, she was fussy and... Because we have a lot of people here, we're going to put her on the social aspiration. But, of course, I like to do all of them. But that's just, So that's just for now. And she is going to be creative like both of her parents. So there we go. I wasn't sure. But there, so she is still angry <laughs> from being tired. <laughs> I don't know whether we can give her another second wind. Let's see. Help with needs. Give a second wind. So come on, Daddy, and help. <laughs> Give her a second wind. If you could. And then... Oh. And then we are going to... I guess try... We can share her emotional burden, but maybe she doesn't have that anymore. We're going to invite to our club, which we'll have to name. <laughs> change the name for... Instead of Brightchester students, it should just should be Brightchester inhabitants or something like that. Residents, that's the word. Residents. Did you say yes? I have had a sim say no once. <laughs> once. <laughs> we can meet a prospective client? She's a child. I didn't think she could be a prospective client. So let's rally the troops so we can get her needs up a little bit. And I'll uh, set up her bedroom and stuff in the basement. Because uh, this one is going to be Collins, which I'll also have to change it up a little bit too. So why don't we, why don't we age Colin up before? Come here. We'll do a super, to, super efficient baby care first. Uh, whenever. <laughs> and then once we've done that, you look like, you look like you could be. Um, uh, where's magic? Did I miss it? Why don't we scrubberoo you? You look like you need a scrubberoo. And now we are going to age up Colum. Colin, I should say. And see what he looks like. Oh, he is a redhead. We have a redhead for our second Nubu. 
And there he is. And he's going to be clingy. <laughs> He'll be our clingy one. That's better than fussy, I have to say. Much better than fussy. And did anyone eat this? Nope, no one ate it. We'll stick it in the fridge. And there he is. That's not a very good angle for that picture. Can we get a picture from this angle? There. There we go. I think he... I think Dora has the green eyes, I think. Well, we'll see. I'm going to take them into Create a Sim and give them makeovers, and I will be back. So here we are in Create a Sim with both Eileen and Colin's makeover. I did end up leaving Colin's hair the same style, but I did not do that with Eileen. And we're going to take a look at Eileen's outfits first. So as usual, I gave both of them a number of everyday outfits, but here are... Eileen's and of course she is a little spell caster, so she's going to continue to make those movements uh, while we're here in Create a Sim but as a child spell caster she can't really do anything she could bind a um familiar if we gave her a familiar or she could she could have the cat be her familiar she'd interact with uh her quite a lot her right Rosie <laughs> Yes, Rosie, definitely a her. One formal outfit. I think I actually gave Colin two just because they were cute. And uh, But they neither are very likely to need many, if any, formal outfits. So she has a couple of pairs of pajamas. Oh, these are actually, I was thinking they were pajamas. They were, they could could go for pajamas without those shoes. But this is their, her athletic so she has a couple of athletic, though I do not find children use athletic very much. And she does have, she actually aged up with this top or this one piece outfit and the slippers. But I thought it's winter and that's not really very warm. So I gave her little tights to go with it. And then I gave her one other pair of pajama bottoms, though, because I rallied the troop. She's not likely to sleep that much, but she may need to sleep a little bit right now because she's probably more tired than everybody else is. And then for her party, she has a few party outfits. Whether we will see them all, I don't know. I probably should have given her tights with that. I might go back and give her tights just because it's winter right now. Uh, I did use a lot of styled looks for her and for Colin because even though they are spellcasters, the style looks work for them because they were born in the game. So spellcasters born in the game can access the style looks and spellcasters created in create a sim or by going to realm of magic to magic hq they currently don't have the styled looks hopefully that is something that is fixed with the game update but who knows how much is going to get broken with the game update it's a pretty major update that's coming so here are her swimsuits Unless we take them somewhere warm, she's not, they're not likely to use these swimsuits, I have to say, because it's fall going into winter. Uh, and there is our hot... I guess if we went over to Oasis Springs, it might be warm enough to swim over there. Because it, it doesn't get as cold there, and there's a pool, or I have a pool at the park over there. Uh, so that would be something. Or to go to Selva Dorada would be another option that would be hot, I assume. Pretty warm there. But the lot that I normally stay on, it doesn't have a pool. So that's not really a thing. But there are the pools there that you can get to, the natural pools. I've been to Selva Dorada for a very long time. So here are her cold weather clothes. And as this is actually a cold weather outfit, all of those things. But then I got rid of the cold weather tag. Which of course comes back now that I'm back on it. So that she, because uh, like I loaded into the game. It's not even, it wasn't even freezing. It was just cold out and my Sims loaded in, in their cold weather clothes. So there and there is her one <laughs> actual outdoor cold weather clothes. It can be pretty cold in Brightchester, But I find in general it's more mild than other locations. So here we are. I'm gonna go over to Colin and his outfit. He actually aged up with that little top and I just left it on him because I thought it was kind of cute. And I didn't really see any hairstyles. All the hairstyles are cute. So I just left him with what he had because I didn't dislike it. And this is a styled look that comes with my first pet stuff, except for that I changed the pants at least to be long because it's fall, like I said. Uh, this one here is a, I'm thinking, oh, it's a one piece outfit. Yes, it comes with cats and dogs. I was like, I'm thinking that's cats and dogs. And it indeed is. And then 
here is a little top here that um, is also cats and dogs and just some little cargo pants there which are toddler stuff and then just little shoes. And then there is that little one piece outfit which is not as warm clothes it's more for a warm weather but I put some socks and I went okay well the we'll have to get a heater for them inside <laughs> and maybe light the fire but I'm afraid of having a fire there so there is his one formal outfit but uh, he actually aged up with this little top and diaper so I added the pants to it I just thought it was cute it's not actually that formal I should have probably given it to him as a party outfit uh, there is his one pajama. I can't say I use that color very often, but he had that top on, so I just matched the bottoms. Um, oh no, he had the bottoms on, and he had a little top, but since it's winter, I thought I would do that. And this one is one like his sister had, but it has a bunny on the back, so I kept it. And since I have only one toddler, it doesn't matter about the hair. Like, I think I was commented before, I often won't use the hoods because I can't recognize the kids because I kind of recognize them by their hair and then all of a sudden their hair is gone when they have often hats or especially that one piece. Uh, but we only have one toddler, so it's okay. And again here, doesn't matter because he's the only toddler. This is a styled look. Um, yeah, I might have added, added socks to it because it's cold. And then this is the same as his formal but a different color. And then this came in a game update. I think it's part of the holiday pack which is free but it was added later as a game update and then we have swimwear he aged with that but I don't know that he'll actually use it so I didn't really take too much time with that he has a few uh, summer or hot weather clothes here and let's look at number three the third outfit for hot weather clothes and then onto his many cold weather clothes. So this is actually considered all cold weather clothes for him. I didn't have to clear the category, but, um, and I don't think I had to clear it for this. This is the same one that came in that uh, holiday game update, but different color. And now this one was one I had to clear the categories for. It is not something that is a cold weather outfit as this one isn't either. And, but then last but not least, there is his full on styled look. Oh, look at that. So cute with the little, uh, I don't wear the cold weather clothes that much because my kids, my Sims in general, wear their cold weather clothes inside the house and I don't like to have to take them off. They don't actually have laundry yet, so it doesn't really matter, but I might actually add a laundry. I'm going to check what their handiness is at. And once, if one of them is at five, I will put a laundry in and let them update update, upgrade the dryer to be lint free so we don't have to worry about fires with it. But of course, we have firefighters coming, but I still don't want to have to worry about fires. I'd prefer not to see the firefighters if I can avoid it. So I'm going to go back into live mode. So the party is still going strong. And I guess we, Dora graduated from her second degree. So let's take a look here at her, her somology. Now she has a language and literature degree and a history degree. So she's got two degrees and she got her fame point back. She got her fame back. Oh, he's sad. Oh, he's hungry. Well, there's food here, sweetie. Come eat that spaghetti. Uh, hopefully mommy will put you down soon. I thought I just did a super efficient baby care on you right before we <laughs> aged you up. So I'm not really sure why you're hungry, but you know, it is what it is and you can go grab some food. Uh, and then we also have aged up both um, our baby, who is now a toddler, Colin, and our toddler, who is now a child, Eileen. So a lot. So, you know, some changes. I'll have to get Eileen set up with her bedroom, which will be in the basement. I already kind of set up so there was the two bedrooms down there already. So I will put her, I will edit her so it's more child friendly and I will change the bedroom that was Eileen's to be a little bit more personalized to Colin. Oh, and then our dinner party is over. So he is still crawling over there to go get his food. So hopefully that uh, hunger, that sadness from being hungry passes soon and looks like it has. So that is good. But that is going to be it for this part. As I said at the beginning, I am going to be back after Eco Lifestyle comes out and um, probably the week after Eco Lifestyle comes out with this family. And we're going to see what, if any, impact there is going to be 
on Brightchester with Eco Lifestyle. I will obviously have the uh, Eco effects on. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge let's plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much.